Thank you, Mr. President. This morning, I rise to address my resolution, which was to recognize June 2019 as Lipedema Awareness Month. Many are unaware that lipedema is a chronic and painful lymphatic disease that occurs almost exclusively in women and is thought to affect between 10 to 17 million people in our country. And it's also characterized by bilateral excess asymmetrical fatty tissue that bruises easily, mainly in the hip region, upper and lower leg areas, or upper arms. And it's combined with a tendency for leg swelling that worsens when standing. The etiology of lipedema and other types of fatty tissue enlargement is still unknown. However, a genetic cause is suspected. Individuals who suffer from lipedema are further impacted by the absence of diagnostic tools, a lack of public and medical awareness of it, and the stigma associated with its phys physical characteristics. Patients suffering from lipedema cannot simply just shed the additional weight and size through typical extreme weight loss measures, and it is progressive through four stages, meaning that the condition gradually worsens, is degenerative, incredibly painful, disfiguring, and can lead to permanent disability. Certain types of liposuction are the only treatments that can reserve, res, reverse, reverse the pain, its disfigurement, and the immobility caused by lipedema. Most lipedema patients cannot access this surgery because of its classification as a cosmetic procedure and the costs associated to treat the condition. So we want to raise awareness about lipedema, the many people that it affects, and how we can work to expand the education and research of it by the medical community and to spread awareness of it and advocating for the Michiganders who might be suffering in silence. Thank you.